Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Project Whoop. I'm Nick and you guys are whoopsies. Let me pause it here for a second and ooh, that is not a good pose. Yep, okay, this one's much better. Not everybody's gonna care about my room, putting it together, failing at it, then asking my wife for help. All of this is in the video, by the way. For those of you that only care about the table, this cost me $36.53 from Amazon. With Prime, I got it in two days. You can put it together with a hammer and a screwdriver, but if you have a drill, it will be faster. This is how the desk looks next to me and I'm 5'11". It's 35 5.5 inches tall 31.6 inches long the top part is 5.9 inches the main desk is 17.9 the bottom one is 7.7 .7 inches the main desk is 29 and a half inches from the bottom they recommend that at the top you don't put more than 10 pounds on the main one you don't put more than 30 pounds and at the bottom one you don't put more than 10 pounds is it easy to put together yeah it's pretty easy you definitely need two people unless you have a lot of clamps to help you out is it sturdy uh so so for the way that they recommend Man, I think it's totally fine. Would I recommend it as a daily desk for people to use it with a laptop or a computer? I'd have to say no because it's just not sturdy enough. Definitely one of those things that you get what you pay for. For a guest room or an extra room where you just need to put a table of some sort, I think it's perfect. Now let's get back to the video. Yes, this is a little bit echoey because we are into our only spare bedroom in the house, which I have turned into a small gym. If you guys follow my Snapchat, you know that I started working out a little bit more seriously. Still got a little bit to lose, but hey, progress is progress nonetheless. Just in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like. We have a couple of weights here. Ping ball, because I let my wife shop. Yoga mat, abrol, iron bar that I've had forever. The bicycle with the table that I made a video review a while ago. You can use it very much so for putting something on your tablet. The cheapest elliptical that I could get on Amazon about a year ago. And by the way, this is a drum pad. I probably want to set it in that corner if I get any room because I miss playing drums. What's the point of this video? I bought a table to go right there. This is never going to be any bigger than this. It's a small bedroom and it's our only spare bedroom. And the reason I have it is some of you know that I have anxiety and whenever I have anxiety, I'm not feeling well enough to go to the gym. I'm just going to hop in here to work out. So I don't have an excuse to not work out even when I'm at home. I found a small table to put right there and I thought that would be an interesting video to do. So let's go ahead and get the table. I stole my dad's drop cloth. This is the table we're building. These are all the pieces. I looked at the steps and by the looks of it, we are gonna build it upside down. This is the table right here. We're gonna put it upside down. Find a long piece and put three plastic brackets on it. These are the brackets. This is the piece right here that all of the pieces actually have a little mark on them. And this mark is um, L. And if you look right there, it says L. So you, don't, you can just find exactly the ones. This is the piece we made. Now this is the table and we see that this is B and L. And right here you can see that that's curved. This is not, that's curved and that's not. So I already gone ahead and lined them up. This is the part B. We have to do it on the unfinished side. That's, that's the table. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here it has small little indents. They're not actual holes. These are actual holes. So these are just indents where the screws are gonna go. And we have to align this with each two screws there. They already separated them. These are the six ones that we need. The screws are in each one. For this one, we take K with the holes on the side, E and J. There's two indents, which perfectly line up with this. So we're gonna have to put that on top of it. Now we take the one we finished in step two, combine it with what we did in step three. It's already got the guides of where the screws need to go. Now we're gonna sit this one up. By the way, for this step, we're using the long black screws. I definitely should have asked for help. Hold on. No. I'll hold it from that side. I'll, I'll worry about lining it up. Just hold it from all the way there so it's easier. You got it? My phone's ringing. Huh? My phone's ringing. Your phone is ringing? Yeah. Where is it? Over there. <laughs> Hey, Tiffany, what's up? Uh -huh. Yeah, hello, quick! Yo! Hey, what's up? Yeah, hurry up, yo! Uh -huh. Hey, how you doing? Look, I'm uh, building a table here. Uh huh, this is really amazing. Who's around? I'm not a table, Tell Tiffany, shut up. Can you please screw this up? This is definitely. I'm not a table, is it? It's a 
Uh, it's a table for my workout room, so I can put like drinks and stuff if I, if I need to, my phone, my charger. I got the table connected with nobody's help. <clears throat> After connecting, uh, we flip the table uh, upside down with the legs up. No, no joke about that. And we take N and N, M and M, short ones down, tall ones up. And you can see that the further away holes are gonna be sticking out. There's no holes here, so this is where they're gonna go. Pieces are on, on both sides. Let me pause for a second and we're talking about this piece here, the long one. Even though it looks the same, it needs to go upside down. You probably won't be able to see on this video, but there's two indents right here. Those indents need to be facing down because that's where you put the board, but it's all made out of wood. It won't matter too much. It just makes your life a little bit easier as you'll see in a few moments. We have to take these two pieces and then we have to put right there. This is how it's gonna look on this side. And then that one on the other side. The legs are in. Piece G is it? This has holes right there. And you align it. And we put it across. It's done. No, we need to screw it in. Bar in. These small little D pieces, which are these ones, go like so. In the middle in there. We got these pieces up here. Piece A goes here. Six more screws on each one. The top part, I'm gonna somewhat line it up. Top of it is screwed in. One small mistake we made here. If you guys see at the bottom, it's got these screw marks. We're supposed to be flipped the other way around. I didn't think about it because I thought it stays on this bar. Uh, we're too lazy to flip it up. Okay, there is actually one more thing that I can do. We have to flip it this way. And it comes with this little piece here, which you can put like so. Might as well do it since we're all the way here. Another quick thing, these are the bottom of the table and they're pretty smooth, but I have hardwood floors there. So I'm just gonna grab some pads and put them right there really quick. I found these pads, hopefully they'll work. By the way, if you ever try to unpeel these, you know that they're a pain in the butt. <clears throat> Take a knife, do a little cut on the side on this white plastic, and you can peel that off and pull that out. And it comes out super easy. Here is the finished product, the 35 or 36 bucks table from Amazon. I noticed that the recommended maximum weight for the top there is 10 pounds, 30 pounds, and then 10 pounds there at the bottom. So it's definitely not a table that I'm gonna put the weights on and that's not the goal at all. This is literally just so I can put my phone, not my knife, uh, so I can put my phone here, um, so I can put these drinks here that I have, the trash can can also go next to it. This is a pump. This is for that ball, so you can pull that thing out so you can inflate it. For something only that much weight, this table is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. I have no problem, it'll be sturdy enough. Yeah, next is gonna be a little weight to rack that I'm gonna build there. Again, I don't have, ugh, I don't have many weights, but um, I would still like to put a little rack there so I don't sit on the floor. There's a bicycle thing. Honestly, I'm not really using it, so I'm probably gonna put it in the garage or try to get rid of it because I'm using that elliptical for cardio. And I'm doing some weights over here, and this is where I take those. Okay, I'll stop. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here, and I'll talk to you guys later. God bless, bye-bye.